Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to Artistic Intention Studios. So today I'm feeling really kind of inspired, um, creative. I want to have some fun. This is an old drawing or painting, sorry. Uh, an old pour that had a lot of silicone in it, ended up with a lot of paint in the center. It cracked, it's peeling. There's some really cool stuff going on on the edges. Um, but anyway, we're going to cover it up. Um, I might, I might try to, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, so I've already, I kind of sanded this down lightly and then I wiped it off really good with alcohol and I want to glue down some foil for a cool backdrop. So I'm going to, I'm going to put some glue out here and just kind of spread it around. So the idea that is that this, uh, crumpled up aluminum foil is going to stick to the glue, obviously. And Gonna make really cool texture for underneath the uh, semi-transparent pour that we're gonna do here. Come on, a little bit more. So I'm just gonna spread on some glue, kind of where I think I want the foil to go. Certainly down the center where it's damaged. We definitely want to cover that up. Uh, yeah, so we'll go with that for now. And I'm just going to open up this foil. I feel like I need to wipe the glue off my hands. I should have done this before I started the video. Oh, thought this was going to be quick and easy. Crumpled it up really well. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, of course, there is a shinier side and a more dull side. So I really want the shiny side up. There's a hole right there which doesn't really matter as long as it's not in the cracked and damaged part of the canvas. So, just kind of go over there with it. I don't want this to look too square, so I'm just going to kind of lay these out and then I'm going to go around and tear around the edges. were bigger when I <laughs> before I crumpled them up they were larger I'm not really even sure if we needed the glue but it will help um, anchor the, these pieces, if nothing else, so they don't float up as I'm pouring. And I kind of tear a little rough edge of it. Stay 
Yum. Neighbors mowing. Be nice. <laughs> Very good blue applicator. I mean, this doesn't, of course, have to be perfect. underneath part. I just want it to stick down. This should bring a lot of texture into this piece and a lot of like shimmer from underneath. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I have extra glue here that I'll kind of wipe up. I don't want that showing. Although it's going to dry clear, but I'm not sure what it will do to the resin painting. So, all right. I'm just gonna go with this. We're gonna see what happens. I've mixed up some different colors here. This is um, from Just Resin, the turquoise. Really pretty color. This is also from Just Resin. I thought I might need nut more silver to throw on top. Just a little bit for accent. This is aluminum. That's the name of it by Just Resin. And these are just some alcohol inks. This is like a lake blue. It's kind of a turquoisey color too, actually. And this is the a violet color. It's purple. Looks kind of funny in the cup, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Might not use very much of that, but. I also have these fun little glass, um, silver gems and then I've got some of these little pebbles in blues and clears yeah so had some gloves somewhere here we go not sure how this is gonna go I feel like maybe it might have been a good idea to glue this foil down a better than I did be like the night before. <laughs> I just don't know how this is going to work. If it will stay down inside underneath the resin, hopefully. It's not really wanting to act right right now. But we're just going to see what happens could very well turn into a don't do this like this video <laughs> could be a mistake but that's okay and I don't hopefully I have enough resin I'm running low on resin so I'm not even sure I should be messing with this piece
this is going to need a lot more resin than I've got. purple how fun so the purple on top of this foil creates a really super iridescent look this around with the heat gun a little I like the way it's making little pools and puddles of color. I do not have near enough resin. Should have known that. But I was trying to get like just a color base coat down. I was hoping I'd have enough. I do like the effect of this. There's little hills and valleys. Oh, within that foil and the colors are really pretty together so to 
for you to develop this. I'm going to pause you for a minute and I'm going to mix up some more epoxy. So hang on for me just a minute. All right, so we are back. Got a little bit more resin here. This kind of turned out to be a hot mess, but I like the effects of the transparent semi-transparent over the foil. I think it looks really cool. So I'm really just kind of trying to get a really cool design going on top. Add some embellishments and then I'm gonna go over with probably several clear coats so this is just you know step one in a probably long process so I was trying not to use too much of my resin up I even I called it epoxy a while ago I have a neighbor who makes gourd drums and didgeridoos he uses resin to seal his artwork on his instruments. He always calls it epoxy. So, same difference, but <laughs> typically in our world we call it resin. So, I'm not sure why that came out that way, but. <laughs> it did. So I'm put a thin coat. I'm just gonna spread it around. Let me get my edges too. Somewhat. This is going to take several coats because eventually I want to keep all these fun little edges and, and ridges and stuff. But I want the top of it to be flush. So that will create so much depth. A couple of coats of clear on top of this should do the trick. 
I don't even know if I'm gonna like this when I get done or if it's even gonna work out. But we're playing around, we're experimenting. It's what art is all about, in my opinion. I can do some experimenting here and even make some failures that you don't have to make. That's cool. Maybe something I do inspires you to do something even cooler. <laughs> that also is what art is all about. Inspiration. Definitely covered thinly, very thinly. So I'm gonna hit, hit this with a torch, I think. And then I'm gonna add some embellishments. Let's just see. Let's see what happens. Pop these bubbles. that foil in there I think it's makes it even hotter so we don't really want to burn the resin having fun here just randomly laying and not randomly but around the edges I think to kind of mask the mask the edges I'm gonna lay some out and then I'll probably take a popsicle stick here and manipulate them a little really felt like getting that textural piece started. I got these little rocks at my um, local Dollar General store. I don't know, I think it was like three bucks or something for this thing. I thought they'd be cool on the, in a geode. Which, honestly, I've never done one yet. <laughs> Soon. I'd like to get a few ready for my studio open house coming up in two weeks. Two weeks from today. Ready? No. <laughs> okay, well that's 
this one now. like the way they fell for the most part. Yeah. Let's see what we can do with these. My thought was that these clear ones will probably look like bubbles. a blue one and then there's kind of a frosted one so I don't know. Just play with them see what comes about You want to make sure that they're set fairly well into the epoxy. The, the, there I go again, the resin. <laughs> um, I mean, I am going to add several coats on top of this. But I want them to be secure where I place them. here. Fun. Just kind of randomly placed them here and there. some more dimension and some interest to the piece. It's fun on these, uh, it's kind of like a magnifying glass. It's magnifying the underpainting here on the clear ones and the the blue ones. These are fun. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. moving on its own. Let's <laughs> put it there. Alright. Well, I could do this all day. Uh-oh. That one's upside down. I think I like that one. I'll take that one off. Try that again. Make sure I get the flat side down. There we go. Ooh. 
really fun. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like this piece. It's something I just kind of was experimenting with, but it's turning out kind of fun. I don't. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. If so, please uh, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me some comments. I love hearing what you guys think um, down in the comment section. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That helps me out so much when you do that. I'm really trying to build my channel and build my business here. need to stop there. Hmm. Just a couple more. <laughs> Fun. All right. I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. Uh, you might think that I'm totally really different but there's a lot of texture and it's fun and this is just the first layer so like I said oh wait look we have some silver here can't really waste any I just barely want to drizzle it in because take in any way. There's already a lot of silver in this. Basically unnecessary, I think. Probably could have done just fine without it, with all of the bling we already have but oh well I'm afraid if I use the heat gun now trying to disperse that. It's going to mess with my little embellishments. Let's just check it out real quick. Just on this little corner. Kind of fun. Okay, I think I'm pl done playing for now. <laughs> 
I'll bring you in for a close-up and just remember this is not a finished piece so <laughs> this is just the beginning hang on just a second guys all right we are back look at all the crazy stuff going on in this painting really cool textures uh, different embellishments all in like the blue and silver family yeah so and then you can see some of the underpainting from the previous painting that's kind of cool yeah so this is a really long video sorry about that guys but this is a process. I'm just going to give you kind of a quick little close up view to all of it. And I'll pull you up for an overall view. Thanks for hanging out with me. We will do more work on this, and I will show you at least the final piece, if not, you know, some in between stages. So, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again soon. Till next time, guys.